In this week's edition of the new Coach Profiles, we head up to Burlington, Vermont to sit down with new Vermont head coach Laura Year McBride as she talks about her rise from a national champion player to the head coach of the Vermont Catamounts. Following an incredibly successful playing career at North Carolina, which saw her win a national championship in 1994, first year Vermont head coach Laura Year McBride knew the coaching profession was where she wanted to be. After serving as an assistant coach at Seton Hall in UNC Charlotte, Gear McBride took over Colby College and led the Camels to heights that the school never experienced, including a school record 24 wins in 2009. With the great success that the University of Vermont has had in recent years, the chance to lead the program proved to be too much for Gear McBride to pass on, as she is putting her stamp on a team that is looking to rebuild following the loss of two of the best players in school history. I've always wanted to be a coach, uh, ever since I was probably in the sixth grade. My dad was a coach and I had a lot of great influence around me. I've, it's just something that I knew I was going to do at some, at some point. Coaching and teaching is just has always been a big part of my life. With recent Catamount teams having such great success, including an NCAA tournament victory last season, Gear McBride couldn't ignore the tradition of excellence that the Vermont program has. The opportunity to stay in the Northeast and coach one of the elite mid-major programs in the country made this the perfect fit for her first Division I head coaching job. The tradition and success of the Vermont women's basketball program was a huge draw, especially growing up in the area and having grown up watching the team and um, how exciting it was to see them be successful. And I think that Vermont is known nationally as one of the premier mid-major programs in the country. After a distinguished playing career, which saw her win a national championship, play professionally in Portugal, and represent the Canadian national team, Gear McBride has successfully made the transition from player to coach. One of the keys to this success has been her ability to communicate effectively with student athletes and have the players believe in her system and style of play, which has made her a winner at each of her stops. I think really increasing my communication skills. As a player, it was easy to just go out and do it. And as a coach, you have to find ways to motivate and to teach players how to do something without just going out and showing them. So uh, that, was, that was the biggest adjustment, is really learning to find different ways of getting what you want out of your players.